This movie is so relevant right now and explains everything to a T right here on the Brother Love Show. Peace, 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 and blessings, family, family. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Now let's go on. Let's have a conversation. I want to talk to the young fellas out here, man. And um, I watched the old movie the other day, the Hughes Brother film, Dead Presidents, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. That a lot of, a lot of the reason why we see what we're seeing on the news right now with a lot of the guys out here doing the debauchery, doing a lot of crime. The movie brings such significance to why and what's going on right now. Now a lot of you people seen the movie, and you know, you know what's going on. But let's talk about the significance of the movie and how relevant it is right now, okay? Lorenz Tate um, was a regular guy going to school. He went to the uh, Army. He um, was successful in the Army, uh, served his country. He came back from the Army, but came home to a socio-political climate that was in the rest. He came home to a, a uh, low unemployment rate. He came home to the government, uh, a lot of turmoil in the government. Um, the Rinse Tate story is just, is the, in the movie, it's, it's, so, it's so relevant today. It's so prevalent today because I, I see a lot of black men out here don't have no other way. Now, we could argue to say that, you know, you can prepare yourself better and, and you could, you know, you can make, you know, you can work and make things, but... The climate that we're in right now, the climate that we're in right now is so terrible. And what I mean by terrible that there are there are no there are no outlets. There are nobody's fighting for you. You know what I mean? So the, the, the brothers who I feel right now who are who are fighting this war eternally, they're in a similar situation as the rent takes, okay, in the movie. He came home to a child that he had before he went to the war. He got his girlfriend pregnant, went to the war. Then when he comes home, the climate of what he was, what he expected was not there. So with a low job market, uh, low unemployment rate, um, the rest, um, a lot of political, uh, a lot of political establishments, or, or um, protesting, um, a lot of civil rights movements or what was, was being inducted, you know, at that point. And he was at a loss. He was at a loss. He tried employment, got fired. A lot of you guys are going to go through that. A lot of you good guys tried employment, got fired, tried employment. It don't work in your favor. Okay, same thing with him. Came home to a woman that um that obviously she had moved on and did her thing, but she welcomed him back because she had his child. A lot of you guys are going to be in that same situation. You got babies by women. You have children that, you know, maybe that was planned or unplanned, but still, you know, same situation. Um you're in a fight for for um for for manhood. You're you're in a fight for leadership. All right. Um, what was so significant about the movie is that, uh, he tried to do everything the right way. It wasn't for a lack of trying. A lot of you guys out here, you, you're trying to do it the right way. I see you guys. I know guys like you who are trying to, but the doors are shutting. The economy is stagnant. All of the laws that's being enacted are not for you. Everything that's given out is not given to you. The only thing you have to do is sink or swim. So I feel for you, brother. I understand where you're going from. You know, I understand. The pressures that Lorenz Tate went under in this movie is a lot of the pressure that you guys are going to go be under because um, his woman at the time, his baby mother at the time, had while he was gone, she had moved on and had pursued another gentleman 
that was um, providing for her and his child. Now, when he she when he came home, she actually allowed him to come in and have a presence and and try to come in and fit in. But at the same time, she still had the door open and was accepting money from the other guy. Hey, Cuddy. Came by to see you a little earlier, but you went home. Oh, you know, I had class tonight after work, and then I stopped over by my mother. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's Saturday. Yeah. I see my little girl sleeping back there, huh? Yeah. She's all played out. Cuddy, I wanted you to meet, um... Look here. I got a little something for Sarah. Buy something real nice. Honey, I told you to stop spoiling her like this. Somebody's got to do it. Cuddy, I want you to meet Anthony. Now, I'm not saying that you guys are going through that, but her having a woman in these days have an outside influence, Instagram, TikTok, all these people having access to your woman, even access to do something nice for her is a hindrance for you. Because if you can't do it, she's going to get it elsewhere. I'm all right. Oh, I'm all right. You giving him that money back. You won't take it back. Fuck you talking. You you better get a shit back to him. Even if I wanted to give it back to him, Anthony, he wouldn't take it back. Whoa, 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 what? What, what the fuck are you talking about if you want to give it back? No, no, no. Fuck that shit. You forgotten? You just lost your damn job. We need that fucking money. We don't need his money. Yeah, well, Anthony, I'll tell you what. You start bringing some real money in here like a real man, and then I'll think about giving it back to him. Until then, I don't want to hear shit. You need to get your tired ass together. That's what you need to do is stop feeling sorry for your damn self. I mean, sometimes it's like you ain't even the same man I knew before the war. That's who I was in love with. That's who I thought showed the fuck back up here. I don't know who the fuck you are. So what, you just uh, suck his dick so good, he just start throwing money at you, right? What is with you? Why are you so damn paranoid? I ain't fucking him. Not at this moment, you ain't. No. But the motherfucker ain't sniffing around here, tossing money in your motherfucking face for nothing. Yeah, well, I sleep with you every night, don't I? <laughs> you know, Juanita, that's a damn good question. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead. Admit this shit, man. Be honest. You fucking him, right? That's what you want here, Anthony? Uh -huh. That's what you want here? Yeah. Fine. I'm fucking him. So, uh, whose baby is that? <laughs> don't, don't even answer that shit. <laughs> no, you're right, I ain't gonna answer it. I mean, shit, you Anthony, you the big Marine man with no damn job. You know every fucking thing. But uh, answer this for me. If you, if you think I'm jiving you so much, Anthony, why the hell are you with me, huh? Why the fuck you with me? What, you think I need you? You think I need this shit? You can't get a decent job. You won't fuck me. The only time I get to hold you is when you're having one. That brings me to talk about the news and how I see all my young black men out here doing the most heinous things that they've never, I mean, they've done it, but not at this level. The stealing, the robbing, the burglaries, as they call bipping. All those things are right now are being done because of the social climate. The powers that be that know that when you decriminalize stealing under uh, $900, that turn everybody into thieves. When you incentivize another race of people or people that just got here and not the people that's been here, that puts you out in the cold. 
a lot of black men are in that same situation as Lorenz Tate was in this movie. Okay. Lorenz Tate went to his friends, who he thought was his friends, and went to go see what, you know, what, what they had going on. He went back to the pool hall. He went back to what he knew. Now, they, now granted, they were happy to see him, but they had nothing tangible to give. Okay. Got all those kids now. Oh, man. Hey, you got to check out Kirby, man. He's over in the back. Yeah, let's come on back. He's still back here, huh? All right. Hey, abre la puerta ahí, hey. All right. No, Kirby just all hanging in there, you know? Who the fuck is? It's me. Look. What's up, man? Hey, Nicky, what's happening, baby? Kirby's yeah, back boy, there, man. That boy looked at me. He said, Kirby? When she pulled off them drawers, I thought I'd never stop seeing her. <laughs> What's happening, Captain? Yeah, what the fuck is that? Young boy? Yes, me, young boy. Too, boy. What's happening? How you doing? Oh boy, come, come on in the back here, boy. Come on. So when you go back, you guys, when you go back and you, you deal with your homeboys who don't have nothing going on, don't have nothing to give, only thing they can give you is something negative. Now, after Lorenz Tate tried to work, tried to work, tried to take care of his family, he goes to holler at his friends, and they have the idea to do a robbery. Wasn't his idea, but he was put in a position where he wasn't able to provide. He tried working. He got fired. He tried working. He tried that. When the, when, when, when the doors of prosperity are slammed on you and you're still under the pressure of having to take care of your family, it's tremendous. Now, to add to uh, Lorenz Tate's um, issues, he got his uh, baby mother pregnant again. But that added pressure, that's like a ton of bricks on a man. And then with the third added pressure with her pointing out the fact that he can't provide in the way that he should, she still allowed the outside guy, the last man, to come give money. She allowed it. She was taking money from another man. That is a social, that's a pressure that no woman could ever know about. That is huge. His answer was, okay, let me go see what my buddies are doing. Let me go see. Let me go, let me go talk to the OGs. Let me go talk to, you know, let me go where I know. They hold their their answer was to go do a robbery. Let's rob, let's rob the armored car. A lot of you guys are going to do the same thing in a different scenario. Hey, let's go rob this. Let's go bust a lick. Let's go do this. A lot of you guys, a lot of you good guys are in the exact same position. That's why this movie is so relevant. The Hughes brothers did a great job with this movie. And they made this movie way back. But it's so prevalent right now in this, con in this climate. It is ridiculous. A lot of you good guys are going to make a bad mistake. Over pressures from the woman. Pressures to provide. Pressures that's just there. That's unseen. Your own mental pressure. Your own mental um, a downward spiral. A lot of you guys are going to be in the exact same position. The Huge Brother was on to something. I mean, they were on to something. They seen where we at right now. Anytime you look at the news, you look at Chicago. Look at all the murders. Look at everything that's going on. Look at look at it. Why? Ask yourself why. Most of the programs that the government put out does not directly affect the black man. Any of the handouts that's given out are not handed to the black man. You have, we have a, a sink or swim type of situation right here. Either you can sink or you can swim. Okay. 
that's why I think it's very important for some of us to make sure that you surround yourself with positive men. Because if you don't, you're going to go back to po- to men that are not, uh, that are not um, in a position to give you what you need. Now, what Lorenz Tate needed, he needed a real mentor at that point and somebody that could help guide him the right way. What he got was some people that, that got put him in a situation that changed his life forever. Mr. Curtis, you have been lawfully tried in this court and found guilty on all charges. Do you have anything to say on your own behalf before I pronounce sentence? Ain't nothing I say gonna get me out of this. But things were getting bad for me and I had to do what I had to do to, to survive. Maybe it was wrong, but I, I certainly didn't mean for anybody to be hurt. Yeah, Your Honor, please consider before sentencing that my client served his country proud in the Marine Corps. As a matter of fact, he was a member of an elite unit uh, a sergeant decorated with many medals. In fact, one of those medals was the uh, Silver Star for Valor. Now, I realize that my client uh, had a difficult time adjusting when he... Excuse re- me, Counsel. I, too, was a Marine, and I served my country proudly in World War II. A real war, I may add. Yes, Your Honor. I'm I- not finished yet, please. I received the Purple Heart at Guadalcanal. And this young man has obviously forgotten some very fundamental things like decency and dedication and honor. Everything the Corps taught us. He is a disgrace to everyone that has ever put on that uniform, and I will not permit you or him to use the Vietnam War as a cop out here. Anthony Curtis, for your participation in this crime, a crime that took the lives of several innocent people, I do hereby sentence you to the custody of the Attorney General of the United States for a period of 15 years to life. Oh my God. These proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. Life? What do you mean life? For all the shit I did for this motherfucking country? The fuck he talking about life? Man, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck oh, you! Hey. Oh, all the shit I did for this motherfucking country! You remove hey, the prisoner country. from the court! That's gonna be you, brothers. Every time I see something on the news and I see y'all out here doing stuff, but I understand. I understand why. See, when we see crimes and we see things that's going on, we got to understand that the brothers has been left out. If you can't run fast, catch a football, a slam dunk, you have to go. Uh, you got to go do something different. You got to go show and prove. And that's the hard part. See, the thing of it is, a lot of us, we can find people who, who, who will be who will want us to do negative things with them, but never want to build nothing positive with them. OK. You're going to be strapped with the same scenario if you don't understand the significance of this movie. That's why I I urge everybody to go back and watch this movie, but watch it for mindful eyes. Think if it's not your, if it's not your uh, scenario, but it's someone that you know is in the same scenario. You know, we've seen the movie. He winds up doing a crime. Some people get killed, and what happened to him? He wound up getting 15 years to life for being a part of something that failed, a failed, a botched crime, okay? Just watch the movie over when you get a chance. Think about what I'm saying and understand that, gentlemen, we have to change our thinking. We have to use what's available a lot of you guys aren't computer literate. A lot of you guys don't even know how to work your phone. Now, there are opportunities out here, but you have to take them. You have to be smart enough to understand that, hey, if I'm not using the Internet, if I don't have a, a, a knowledge of the Internet past TikTok or Instagram, you probably won't make it. If you don't know how to work an app, if you don't, if you can't hire yourself using these apps, Rody, if you're not doing Instacart, if you're not doing something other than waiting on the streets to save you, you're going to be in trouble. Fellas, you fellas, get around positive people, get around positive guys that got things going on and ask questions.
See, most of us are scared to ask questions, and we're definitely scared of the computer. They have apps. They have so many ways of you getting money. They have so many ways. You just have to, you got to apply yourself, gentlemen. Use the tools that, that's, that's before us. Don't be Lorenz Tate in this movie. Don't let the fact that you can't provide for your family right now the way that they feel you should have you go do something that throw your future away. Lorenz Tate, if he, if he had foresight, he had already seen that. She had already got up under another fella who was dirty, who hands wasn't clean anyway, and was accepting his dirty money. Don't be that guy. Don't, don't get out here and do all this debauchery and do all this stupid stuff in order to provide for your family. Sometimes you got to go the long, hard, slow way. And if you lose her along the way, so be it. A lot of people want it fast and right now, and that's why you're doing such desperate things. That's why they're breaking in cars. That's why they're stealing Cadillac converters. All those petty crimes are of small-minded people. Use your resources, gentlemen. Ask for help. Learn how to build. Use an app. Don't buy a computer, not just your phone. Read. Learn graphs. Learn charts. Learn crypto. And most of all, learn politics. Because the reason why we're in this social economic climate is because of politics. And the reason why black people will be more disproportionately affected because you don't understand politics. Okay. Now, like I said, get out there, watch the movie, look at it with, with grown eyes, black man, rewatch it again. Understand that you can be Lorenz Tate in this situation. You understand that this could happen to anybody. Okay. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. I am your host, Brother Love. Let's talk about it again later.